don't borrow anyone money for free charge them an administration cost charge them interest because if you don't it's a cost that you are never ever going to recover not even to your friend or to your family so hi guys i'm sharon so i am a chartered accountant by profession so today i am going to be giving you 20 tips on how you can be saving money in this year so these are tips that have worked for me and number 20 is really really my favorite tip i believe that everyone needs to know number 20 so the first one is buy items when they are on sale or when they are on a discount so maybe if you know that you want uh, to buy this electronic a particular tv and then you keep track of its price and then now when you see that the price is reduced that is where you can even go buy it because initially you wanted to buy it so you are going to be incurring the saving or if you know that you want to uh, buy clothes from a certain shop or certain branded clothing during particular times in the year these things they do go on sale these things they do on go on a discount and then the prices are lower so capitalize on those times and buy them when they are cheaper i remember this other time i bought this other handbag it was quite expensive and then just a few weeks later the same handbag was on sale i actually regretted number two it's important to be creating a budget and sticking to it so create that budget that this is your income and then list all those expenses and try to keep to your expenses and also compare your budget to what was the actual to the actual spending for that particular month and see where you can improve things or see where you can be able to cut off on certain costs to create that budget it will help you save money number three join the loyalty programs make use of the loyalty programs I I know that with my bank i'm part of a certain loyalty program that when i am swiping or using my card or making purchases i am earning points and the amount of points are converted to cash it's become a lot of money also when it comes to groceries uh with certain shops they do have loyalty points if you use them you are actually saving money or sometimes also if you are a coffee person and they do have those loyalty points you know that okay time for your 10th coffee it's actually free because you are you using those loyalty points so join those loyalty programs and use them but it's also important to be very very strategic don't just be tied to a particular shop just because of a loyalty program it's important to be shopping around for the best one the one that gives you the best value or the one that is more cheap but don't just be shopping just because you have loyalty you're going to be earning loyalty points sometimes it does not really make financial sense to stick with them so by it's good to have those loyalty points because it's like you are getting money back for spending on things that you would have spent on anyway number four shop around for cheaper rent so if you are renting a property if you are staying in a rented property every year you might have to be assessing if this is the best value if this is the cheapest that you can get and shop around the market for something cheaper and if you do find something cheaper move or negotiate with the landlord if they can actually reduce your price if they don't want to be losing out on a tenant because if you happen to stay in a property for long and they are every year they are increasing it with inflation it means that you lose out because in other areas you might find that the rent is still quite low number five review your expenses like your insurance and your wi-fi and shop around for a cheaper one find in the market something that is cheaper because there is always something maybe that is cheaper you might find that now you are overpaying for your insurance because every year they increase the insurance prices if you are an existing customer but then you can negotiate for a lower price or shop around for an insurance that is cheaper whether for your car or for your home or for your phone or whatever it is number six cancel the subscriptions that you are not using that you don't need because many of us we subscribe to certain things but now we forget to unsubscribe just check on your bank statement if there are any subscriptions that are being deducted and if you see that you are not using this particular subscription just go ahead and 
cancel it number seven this is an obvious one just cook your meals there's no need to be eating out every day or ordering food via your uber eats or something you just need to be cooking those meals you can go out but cooking is much more cheaper number eight it's important to be planning your travel so that you can save on gas sometimes if you don't really know where you are going you are going to find yourself driving a lot and then spending a lot of money on gas and it's money that you can't even be accounting for it's not like it's tangible gas is not like it's tangible but if you can plan your travel you'll be able to minimize your travel and go where you need to be going so that you can save on gas number nine it's important to be investing wisely because yes yeah, sometimes you can say that you are investing but are those investments making you a profit because i know sometimes i did invest in certain stocks that ended up coming down and i did not pull out on time i did not remove my money from there on time so it is important to be investing wisely invest on things that are going to be giving you a good return number 10 don't borrow people money for free because when you are borrowing someone money you are also incurring a cost that you are never going to be recovering for instance even if someone can borrow hundred dollars from you for you to give them that particular amount of money you've incurred bank charges now and also there is an opportunity cost maybe that money could have been incurring or getting interest but now you are no longer getting interest on that money because you have borrowed it to that particular person and also there is the time value of money so it means that you are losing out while you are not even charging any form of interest so if you want to save money don't borrow people money for free that's why you see banks they never borrow people money for free number 11 check your bank statement because if you keep track of all your expenses or if you keep track of all the line items on your bank statement you're even going to see your bank charges and you might find that you are spending a lot on bank charges so your habits are making you to spend a lot of money on bank charges so now you'll be able maybe to do things differently instead of withdrawing money you don't withdraw money or you limit the number of times you do things or you change the kind of plan you have or you change the bank that you are using so that you can actually be able to save on your bank charges number 12 it's good to automate your savings because sometimes it's difficult to tell yourself that you'll save a particular amount and keep to it so if your savings are automated if you do have like that debit order on your saving or you are saving towards a particular thing then it becomes easier for you to reach your savings target so it's important to be automating those savings number 13 cut off on the gym expense if you are not consistent so if you are not consistent rather cut off on the gym or uh, maybe just exercise from home or jog or something find other ways of exercising without incurring that monthly expense that you are not really getting value for number 14 cancel your cell phone contract after the period has elapsed so if maybe you had entered into uh 24 months for your cell phone contract and now the 24 months is finished the company is not going to stop deducting from you they want you to give them a notice they want you to tell them that now the contract is over so cancel once the 24 months is 24 months or 36 months cancel that particular contract and then enter into a plan that's suitable for you so this goes for your data contracts and all sorts of contracts number 15 if you love traveling so plan your travel for for periods that are not busy because in that way you get to save your flights are also cheaper your hotels are also cheaper and also in terms of entertainment you can do it on those days where they do have a discount because i know with me where i am in terms of ice skating i know that if i go there on a wednesday i end up paying half price and not the full price number 16 create a shopping list it's important to have that particular shopping list because if if you buy without a list you might get items that are not even important but now if you write the list of items that you need when you go to a shop you'll only buy the things that you really really need number 17 buy what you can afford and not necessarily what is 
trending because sometimes as people we see so much on social media and we want to be able to have what everyone has but it's important to be buying what your pocket can afford rather than what you see trending and want to have every single item that you see other people having number 18 negotiate for better interest rates so if you are looking to buy maybe a house or to buy a car look for cheaper interest rates negotiate for cheaper interest rates don't just take the first deal that you are offered because our uh, interest rates they play a huge role in terms of your installment in terms of how much you end up paying for a particular item number 19 shop smart compare prices if you are buying something first compare the prices of the items compare the different brands and also compare with different shops before you make that final decision and these days it's quite easy because you can even just go online and begin comparing before you make that particular purchase and then number 20 my favorite one look for other ways to increase your income because sometimes we focus more on how we can save costs than focusing more on how you can actually increase your income find other ways of making money there's so many many other ways of making money find that side hustle start a youtube channel do something and you will see that now your money is going to be increasing so that once your money increases you'll also have more opportunities to be saving more money and if you did like my video, don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit that notification bell so that when I post more videos like this ones, you can actually receive them and also to comment on the videos. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.